morning everybody. Uh, welcome back. It's time for me to share some journals I've been working on with you guys. Um, but I want to start out with the Create With Me folio that we were working on. Uh, I had technical difficulties last week. Thought I had everything backed up and unfortunately I had ended up uh, losing the completion of this. So. I'm really sorry about that. Um, it's just one of those things, I'm afraid. Um, but this is now complete, so I thought, well, I'll just uh, share with you guys quickly how this all came out. Um, let's see, where we left off, I don't even know. <laughs> so I'm just going to start. This is the, you know, when you order books from Amazon, or sometimes small crafting supplies will come in these this type of packaging. This was inspired by Tracy. Um, she did this series on a free folio, so um, that's where the inspiration is. It you know is from. Oh, I'm trying to think if I, I've tweaked mine slightly. Um, so let's just go inside and I'll show you. So here I created this little closure. Um, so this flips open, and there are tags behind each of these I did some stenciling on them this is a really fun project and I love it when you can take something that would end up in the um, landfill or you know recycling it's just another way to use things up okay so here I did a couple of journal cards. Those have all been backed with tea dye paper. Yeah, it was just one of those weird things. I had done all my editing on everything and uh, I don't know, I just hit the wrong button and lost it all. So, uh, you live and learn, don't you? So these, uh, we had created some flip outs and then four small pockets here. And there's just tiny little tags in each of them. I won't pull all those out. Okay, so where mine is slightly different is I created a elastic TN type band so that this could be used as a, a little journal and then when it was filled up it would be easy to just add a, a new journal. Okay, so here, sorry getting ahead of myself. Alright, so that's what I did was I uh, stitched this on the machine. No, I, si I tied this. Let me get my words right here. I stitched that and then it's just been added to this. So you, this can be replaced. Just a very plain um, journal. Some vintage book pages in, inside there. Here I did some coin envelopes. There's nothing in those pockets, but you can see. Um, and then over here, I just added lots of, uh, this is just scrap paper. So you've got two big pockets on this side now. And then I made another little um, notebook here. And this is one of Tracy's new kits um, she's got in her shop for making these little booklets. And so then just various tags. This flips over, and then here I've got another pocket, and I've just done some stamping there. Um, and then here I just created a window, and then another big journaling card. So it was just a really fun project to do. Um, I love anything like this, like I said, you know, where you can kind of recycle items. So that is how it looks. I've just done some collaging. I think that may have changed because um, I did, in the end, feel like there was too much of the cardboard still showing. Um, so I did change and come in and add a bit more. So that's how that came out. Um, so that's going up for sale in my shop. Uh, more stash Busting journal. This one's a very plain journal, but it is a two signature, and the closure is a sorry silk. And then I've stamped on the front of this. Um, 
we are we are all a little fragile. I love that image, and I've done you know piecing together um, scrapbook papers. Like I said, two signature, um, but I have kept this very plain. There's a pocket in the front and a big pocket in the back. Um, everything has been tea or coffee dyed and a collection of various um, book pages, lots of different types of um, digital images I've got from various um, designers. <coughs> so, and then this is an old book page. Just a real mix of things. Um, these are Tsunami Rose images. So you can see, like I said, I've not added any pockets to this. I've just kept it very plain, but there's two signatures. The total number of pages I will put in the listing for that journal. I'm on a mission. So, if you guys followed me on Instagram um, this weekend, I was aiming to do a thousand uh, book, uh, pages co coffee dyed. Oh, I didn't even come close to it, guys. I think at the last count, I I got up to about 160 pages, um, and then I got maybe 20 envelopes. But that was unbelievable. It got really, really hot here this weekend. So yeah, a thousand was a bit ambitious, and I knew it was. I didn't think I could achieve it, but I like to set myself little goals. It kind of motivates me to to keep, you know, pushing myself a bit more. Okay. So, here are my other journals. I finally got these completed, and I love how these came out. Because this was an old quilt that I had picked up. These measure just about 6 inches by 5. And it was an old quilt, but isn't it pretty? Very faded blues, pinks, greens. And then I came back with lots of bits of trim from my stash, um, the little flowers I had, and these are all buttons from my collection. So let me just go inside this one. They're all going to be basically the same, um, but I've got five of these, but I'll just go through one so you can see it, because for time purposes, we I don't have time to go through each of them. So um, on the front, they've got a pocket... I'm trying to think of it. It's been a while. a while. I kind of forget how I've done them. So I've just filled them with various things. Um, tea dyed. I've done um, lots of little pockets. This is a double pocket here. And I've just filled them up with these are little uh, vintage cards I've got in my stash. I'm just doing a massive clear out, guys. This tiny little um, dictionary page. This is an old children's um, book page. I love the, the images on that one. This is an old dressmaking um, book I've got. Uh, just various things. They will vary. You know, the ephemera will vary slightly. And the book pages, obviously. Um, I mean, the digital images will vary slightly. But they've all got, um, you know, basically the same. I've got all of them. I've got the vintage playing cards and then I've done some handmade tags. Just a real mix of, of things from my stash. They've all got this music um, piano roll paper I've made uh, into a page there. They've all got these little um, these are not the genuine um, milk. Oh gosh, what do you call them? They're not the genuine. These are copied. So uh, Let's see if there's anything else. I've done little double pockets here and just filled them with handmade tags and just little notepads that I've made from scrap papers and like I said, just really a big, big push to try to clear out this just little envelope that I've got a little pocket space there. Some of this, um, oh, the digital avocado dyed paper. Um, all of the signatures have got these little silver rose beads. I love those. I think I picked those up maybe Hobby Lobby. 
Um, here I've just done some stitching around the tag. Um, another stamped image, another little um, altered paper clip. Just taken um, off cuts of digitals I've printed out, made them into a little pocket. So a lot of work has went into them, even though they're small. There's still a lot of stitching and um, a lot of detail, you know, within it. But I, I really have enjoyed doing these because you feel like you're really. <clears throat> I'm clearing out, and I really have to do that. It's it's that time I need to just focus on getting a lot more. I think that's it. As you go along with um, the journal making, you know, you try things, and you find out, no, actually that's not my style. This is, and I'm starting to now really fine-tune, I think, and eliminating the things that maybe aren't really um, me, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, I think you have to go through that, don't you? You've got to try these things and see, you know, what appeals to you personally. And that's what the point I'm at, I, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, um, is is I just now know there's things I've got that I just want to get, get out and really know going forward what, what I want to purchase. Little coin envelopes on the back. Um, I don't think there's anything in them, but obviously a little pocket there. So yeah, these were a lot of fun, and I love the quilt. Um, it was really fun to be able to put that to use, because uh, I knew when I bought it, that's what I wanted to do with it. And it was just one of those things that just sat. I kept moving it, getting other things, putting it in the back, and it just kept getting further and further away. And I thought, oh, enough. I've got to do it. So I've got five of those guys uh, that are going in the shop and then the folio and this very plain two signature a lot of writing space in that um, so those are going in and let me just give you a sneak peek of what is coming up um, I, I was debating whether to show these or not yet but I think I'm going to go ahead these are two signature journals that are coming up these I hope to have complete I'm hoping I'll have these done by tomorrow. This one's very near, and this one's probably 75% complete. Envelope, um, cover journals, but they've all been reinforced with um, muslin fabric, beeswaxed, um, and these are. this is a new designer. I've just found Louise Hensel, I believe. Um, I'm not designing for her, but she is on Etsy, and when I list these, I will uh, put her name in the description box, but I won't put a link because I'm not, I don't design for her, but she'll be easy for you guys to find. Beautiful. Really different to what I um, have been working with, but I've enjoyed them because I felt like I really needed to, um, I get bored using the same things and I just felt like I needed to do something different and I have thoroughly enjoyed these. Putting into practice um, some new techniques that I've learned from um, two courses I've taken. <clears throat> I like to keep investing in, in myself, <laughs> I guess you would say, because I am always trying to learn more techniques um, and expand you know, my journal making, um, because I just, I need to do that for myself, you know, my nature is, I've just got to keep trying to learn new things, so I'm super excited about how these are coming out, and as I said, those hopefully tomorrow, maybe, <laughs> if everything goes well, <laughs> um, what else could I share with you guys, I went to the flea market yesterday, that was really fun. Let me see if I've got my stuff handy. Um, I might not, but I, I can show you one thing I picked up um, because it's no, I have no place to put it. I got this massive jar of buttons, so now I've got to go through. I like to go through and sort all my buttons, and um, I see some really good ones in there. So that was one of the things. I got loads of doilies this time, and... Um, I wouldn't say I got super delicate laces because um seems to be a real shortage of the really uh, nice 
laces. So that was a bummer. I'm trying to think. Just one second, guys. I'm sure I've got it here. Okay, yeah, here they were. I had stuck them in the other room. So this is one of the things I picked up. This is an old vintage um, advertising bag. So this I'm going to turn into a um, paper bag journal. I don't know when I'll get around to it, but I, that, I was excited to get that. And I've never seen these over here. Um, and those are the genuine... Oh, what are they called? The milk caps, I think. So yeah, I was so happy to pick those up. And then the other thing I got um, was these old, I picked up two of these old ration cards, 4748. Um, you know, just because they're, they're different and I just like them. I love anything like this. So yeah, I've got those. Um, registration for milk. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Oh, I love that kind of stuff. So that's really it. It wasn't... Um, it was the... There's a couple of old um, letters and envelopes too. It was the biggest flea market I've seen here at this point place that I go to. Um, but having said that, I just didn't find much uh, that I was looking for. So, so there you go. That's the way it, that's the way it is sometimes, isn't it? This is the other little ration book I got. Look at that. For tea. They even rationed the tea. Wow. That must have been bad for the Brits because they love their tea now. Yeah, this is nice. Really nice. So anyways, that was it, guys. That's really all I can think of to share with you guys. I've got to um, crack on with those other two journals, but that's really it. That's all my news for today. I hope you guys are having a good week. It was a holiday here yesterday, so I'm totally messed up because I'm thinking it's Monday and it's not. It's Tuesday, so that, I've kind of lost a day this week, but that's what happens. So anyways, guys, have a good rest of the week, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye!